that stuff, guys. You probably cannot see my face right now. I'm sorry about that. But, um, is she coming out? Hey, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a face, and it might be a face scrub. Like a scrub. likely we will not be so just Container is going to be clean. Um, and then this one, they have another one. If you want to make it colorful, you're going to need a coat. It has to be a coat. You need a thin mix with um, two kinds of soap foam soap, a tiny kind of foam soap, any kind of salt, any kind, and then just regular. Dish soap. So let's get started. Okay. So the thing is really long. So this is how it works. So you're going to need your dish soap and it's going to go into this container. It doesn't really matter, but I prefer you put the dish soap in a bigger container and get your foam soap into smaller containers unless they're the same size. Um, you're just going to take it. We're starting with the dish soap first. Dish soap, and you're just going to make four, not a lot, you're just going to pour in, like, it doesn't even fix up, just about that much, so that goes to that much, and then you're going to get the dish already, um, shake it, and put it really good. Put in like less than good, like less, and you're just gonna barely mix it up. So you're just gonna like make it like swoosh like that, and then you're gonna get this, and you're gonna pour in just like not even a big pile, like not even a big pile, like that much. So. And you're gonna mix it all together. Mix it all together. And then you get one like you don't have it completely dissolved, you're gonna add more to show and no more paint. And then you're just gonna mix it. And I purposely set this up to where you can't see my face, so you could see like me mix and stuff. But probably can't see me mixing right now. But um, you're going to want more than just that much. So you're just gonna keep adding soap and salt. Like I said, like not too much of anything, like salt, until you can't really hear it, like scraping the bottom as much as it did before. Now, if you want to add more paint right now, you can, but if this is the desired color, then just leave it. So. Okay. 
Okay. So, put this to the side. Going to get this container. And you're going to take your foam soap, and you're going to use six pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you want to add more, just add more. Seven. Eight. I prefer six, but you know, sometimes I add eight. So. I'm just going to add your paint now. Before you mix. Paint it off. Paint's being annoying. Oh my god, paint, I really do not feel like getting you on my hand. So, I'm going to do that. And you're going to get this and pour your salt in now. And you don't want to add that much, like, just a little more than you did with the liquid. So, so now we're just going to mix it together. And since this is foam soap, it's a lot harder to get the color you want. So that's why you add a whole lot more paint than you did before. And you're just going to mix it until you can no longer hear the scraping on the bottom. about to come off. Okay, so once it's white for this and the color you desire, you're just going to take the liquid soap and you're going to add um, this to it. So, like you're just gonna add it together. Sorry guys, just kidding. You're not going to add it just yet. You're going to put it in the fridge, uh, in the fridge for 45 minutes or in the freezer for 25, both. So I prefer putting it in the freezer for 25 minutes or just until it gets like cold because once it gets cold like the fluffiness like it looks like sand and that's what you want it to look like okay so i'll be back after it's five ten minutes are up i also wanted to add just in case you like want to be smart alex and be like oh it's fine like it won't does it matter if you don't put it in the fridge then the acrylic or the freezer then the acrylic paint likes to come off on your skin. And see, with one that I've already made, it's more fluffy, which is better for your skin. And it's fluffier and it does not transfer on to your hands. The color does at first, but when you rub it in, it doesn't. So letting you know that. Okay. Okay guys, it has been 25 minutes. They've been in the freezer. So they look amazing. They feel freezing. This is why you want it, because you want it to look like sand. Hold up. Okay, you guys can probably still hear them. So Okay, so I mixed the two that I had already made. One was gold and one was green. So that's why they look like this color. But to save space in a container, I'm going to um, mix all these together. I do not care what the color looks like, just as long as it gets the job done, which it does. So, so simply, but since if you guys are just going to make one back, you're going to get the like the foam consistency and you're going to put it in the liquid one. I'm just going to make sure you get um, almost all of it as much up as you can 
Now, it honestly comes with this just for you. So, like, there's no need of adding any soap. But, um, so now I'm just going to mix it all together. like this and I'm just gonna show you how it works so water is needed like like you don't have to use water because it automatically does that and no but I suggest you use water like use water but um so I'm just gonna put all of it into this container hmm you want to come eat mm -hmm. okay I'll be back guys I'll be back. Bye. Okay, guys. Let me just fix the camera back. Okay, so once you have it all in your container, I'm just gonna mix it all up. And wow. You're done. Now, make sure you use a clear plate if you're going to have it covered. <gasps> if you're going to have it covered because um, food coloring will stay on you. And um, if you leave it on for five minutes and then you wash it off, it makes everything like super duper soft. Like super duper soft. And you get in the fridge until ready to use. So that's all you gotta do, guys. I'll see you guys next time. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm gonna basically be doing a lot of DIYs, I guess, instead of instead of normal videos like I'm planning. But I do have two channel names, so we'll see how well where it goes from here. So see you guys next time. Bye.